New this morning, a car mows over a fence, plows past some bushes, and then slams into a parked car, leaving behind quite a mess in this West Columbus neighborhood. It happened on Napoleon Avenue near Broad Street around 2.30 this morning. 10 TV's Tino Ramos is live at that scene. And Tino, after all this, was the driver arrested? Yeah, the driver was arrested. I have to tell you, too, we were here when they were giving the sobriety test. She was putting on quite a show for officers, so they thought that there was definitely enough there to take her in and charge her with drunk driving. This is part of the reason why, too, this bush right here, this is one of them that she ended up taking out. There's a vehicle right behind us here, too, that got bumped in. They've already towed away another car that got smashed, and these are the tracks right here that she was traveling through, and what she ended up traveling through right there, that fence she crashed through before hitting those parked cars. I want to show you this video. This is video you only see on 10 TV. It happened just about 2.30, just a couple of hours ago. According to police, they said that the driver was heading uh, southbound on Napoleon. At that point, she lost control, went through that fence, ran over that bush, and then hit a parked car pushing that parked car into another car. Now, three vehicles were obviously destroyed there. At that point, police arrived on the scene. She was still here. She received some minor injuries, but nothing that was too serious, so she stayed on the scene. That's when they gave her the sobriety test. At that point, they say that they did have enough to charge her, and she's going to be charged with other items, too, in terms of, in connection, rather, with the crash that went on here. So they got a little bit of a mess to clean up here, and that's the thing with it. The people that own these vehicles will have to basically figure out what they're going to have to do, call the insurance companies and figure out how much damage there is. As far as she's concerned, we're still trying to gather her name in terms of what charges she will all face. We'll keep gathering those details. Another update coming up next half hour. Tino Ramos, 10 TV News.